Hi everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to import HubSpot contact and company list into LinkedIn ads. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first, the steps to do this is you're gonna connect your HubSpot account with your LinkedIn ads account. Then you're gonna prepare your list in HubSpot. Then we'll sync that list into LinkedIn ads and that will create a new audience in LinkedIn ads. And then we'll just verify that that audience was created in LinkedIn ads. So the benefits for doing this is that you can leverage your existing HubSpot data for targeting. The list also automatically sync. So if you change anything in HubSpot, it'll automatically sync into LinkedIn ads. And this can be really helpful to save you time from having to re-upload CSV files and doing it manually um, within LinkedIn ads. So a few notes on this, the number of list audiences you create depends on your marketing hub subscription and the minimum audience size to target on LinkedIn ads is 300 members. So just a, a few things to keep in mind there. So for the first step, connecting your LinkedIn ads account with HubSpot, I have a separate video on this that I'll put in the description of this. It just takes a few minutes to set it up, but you can take a look at that and then we'll go in in this video and actually do the rest of those steps. Also, a few notes on the types of HubSpot lists you can create and why you might want to create these is that you, they can be used for retargeting existing contacts or companies. And on the flip side, you can also use them within your LinkedIn ads targeting for exclusions. So if you want to exclude a list of customers or in progress opportunities, you can choose to do that as well. We'll be using HubSpot property filters to narrow down by different segments. So you can use all the different available filters for contacts and companies to narrow down those lists and create them and then we'll sync them into HubSpot. Let's go ahead and jump into HubSpot now and we'll go ahead and go into the list section. So we're gonna go to the CRM section and then go to lists. So I already have two lists that we'll upload, but if you need to create a list, you can click the create list button here and you can choose to create a contact based list or a company based list. Just for this example, we'll select company based and we're gonna keep this list active so it automatically updates over time. And just as an example, I'll call this software prospects. Then we'll go ahead and click next. Then you can use filters to narrow down that list. So we're gonna select company properties. And then just as an example, there's all these different properties that you can narrow down your list. So um, for example, if we type in industry, we can select industry and then we can choose companies that match any of these industries and we can select different industries here. So that's how you go through and create your company and contact lists using filters. I'm gonna go ahead and jump back out of here since I already created some lists earlier. So I have two lists here. So now to sync these lists into LinkedIn ads, we're gonna to go to the marketing section, then go to ads and we're gonna click create audience. So we can create a contact list and a company list. First, we'll do the company list here, and then we'll select the companies. So it has some recommended lists, and it also has the list that I created called Prospect SaaS. So I'll select that. And then I'll select the ad account that I connected with my HubSpot account. So it's this Mitchell's ad account demo. And then for the name of the audience, this is the name that you'll see within LinkedIn ads. I'll just keep it the same name as the HubSpot list. So I'll call it Prospect SaaS. Then I'll click create audience. And now that audience has been created, we'll go ahead and just go through the steps for the contact list. And then we'll go into LinkedIn ads to verify that the audiences were created. So again, I'll go into marketing, I'll go into the ad section, click create audience, and then click contact list. And then we'll select a list. I have a list I already created. From here, you can also create a new list. So I'll select the contacts open deals V2 here. We're gonna select this little terms that saying that we didn't rent or buy this list. So I'll select that. And you can see the note for small contact lists. That's because I'm using my account just for demo purposes, but you wanna to try to import as many contacts as you can, uh, cause you will have to consider the match rate, how many members LinkedIn can match to those contacts and also the minimum audience size within LinkedIn ads is 300 members. So just keep that in mind. And then we're gonna select our LinkedIn ads account here. And then it has the audience name, HubSpot contacts, open deals V2. We'll just keep it as that and we'll click create audience. So the new audience has been created. Now we're gonna go into our LinkedIn ads account to verify that those audiences were created. So we'll go into the plan section in campaign manager, then go to audiences. 
And then you can see here that those two lists are building. So the lists typically take 24 to 48 hours, sometimes even a little longer to populate within LinkedIn ads. And then they will continually sync over time. So again, if you change anything in HubSpot, it's gonna automatically sync over into LinkedIn ads. So that covers everything. Let me know if you have any questions on the setup or any questions on LinkedIn ads, and I'd be happy to help you in the comments section. So thanks for watching and have a great day.